so there was this story that went kind of viral uh, a few years back where you basically there was like a rough riders tour that you performed at and you basically had some critical things to say about uzi and yadi um what's your recollection of how that went down and and what has there been any kind of communication since um that that rap was like on the spot at that concert and I seen it back like years ago. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I think I said I just never chose to listen to them. I didn't say like nothing bad about them. I don't know them. Like mm-hmm. I never met them. We ain't got no beef or nothing. It's just that type of music. Like at that time, whatever they had out at that time, I just never like listened to it at that time. Right, so it wasn't anything personal, it was just yeah, a preference nah. thing? Nah, just me at that time, at that place I was at, like, and what I was focused on, I just never listened to the music at that time. But it was really, like, the big up the like, that rat was really to talk about the legends that's, like, they was, like, new. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, when I said that line, they was, like, super new artists that, like, I'm trying to say, like, ain't putting enough ain't putting enough for me to even hear them. I don't even, like, choose to listen to that. But what about the legends, like, the people that's been putting on forever? And I start naming all them other people in that rap. So I don't remember the exact words, but if you play it back, that's what the message was, like, you so know. it wasn't personal. They just caught it straight. It just happened to be the biggest names of the young niggas you could name at that point. Yeah, that you could recognize what I was trying to say. Yeah, and, sure. and it rhymed, too, with what I was piecing up, too. Makes yeah. sense. What do you listen to these days? Like, do you listen to new rap music? Or are you listening to classics? Like, what what, what is your? But shit? now I would choose to listen to them. Like that was super years ago. Mm. Like they still around and they still doing their thing. And like you know, what I'm saying now I listen to them. They got a lot of dope music and proved themselves to be, you know, what I mean, great artists. Also, at that time, there was a lot of bullshit to confuse them with. Like it was a lot of niggas playing around. Oh, like doing mad pills and stuff like that. So, like, you didn't know if these, if this was just another set of pill niggas, or if this was like, you know, something that's gonna be substantial in hip hop. Yeah. So I feel you. And I definitely knew it wasn't like what I was used to as representing hip hop and rap. I knew it wasn't based off lyrics and bars. It was like in another lane. So that's the real reason why I'm saying I'm not choosing to listen to this. Like how you said, it's got all them categories. Like mm-hmm. if I'm like. Hard rock. I'm not choosing to listen to pop rock. It's like I only like hard rock. That's all I listen to. Like, you know what I'm saying? But not nothing against them or like, I just wasn't listening to that form of hip hop rap at the time. Makes but sense. now it's like, you know, years pass. I done opened up and I done took it in because they talented for a lot of different reasons. I'm not just basing everything off bars right now. Yeah, definitely. Because if you think about uzi at that time he's like very early in his career and then when you think of uzi now it's like this is a dude who's made so many hit records over and over and over that it's like you know i I was somebody who was like pretty tuned into him from early on but if i hadn't been you know it's like once you see an artist being popular for a long ass period of time you kind of have to take a step back and just as like a businessman or a observer of the culture you have to be like all right like what does this person have that makes them special enough that they've been able to have this many people be obsessed with them you know yeah Nah, I understand exactly what he doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? That nigga talented. He dope in a lot of ways. Mm. But I just don't think you should put, like, the type of music he doing in the same category as, like, what Griselda doing. Mm. Like, they not even doing nothing the same. <laughs> it's like, so to say that they both is just the same, like, hip-hop, and they just both... So an uninformed fan just hear this and hear this and think right. that they got to judge it together and that's not fair it's nowhere near the same thing yeah it's just kind of silly all right so you see it we just hit 500k and you know what that means that means you gotta subscribe and get us to 600k because we are dangerously close to 666k let's go